So, woke up early. Sun's barely, barely peaking there. You can see just a tiny bit of light. Anyway, I'm gonna start uh, heading off. And this is the problem with some of my campsites. I arrive late, I leave really early. It was actually a lot warmer today than it was last time, but uh, I don't know. I just really want to ride my motorcycle, so I'm gonna go ride it. It's a little, a little humid, but uh, yeah, this is the advantage of getting up before the sun. I'm right here at Cape and Rage, which is uh, a lighthouse station on the top of a little hill, right with cliffs all around it into the water. It's beautiful here, just gorgeous. You know, uh, I'm gonna make a little breakfast and watch the sunrise. My life is awesome. First stop along the road. My GoPro battery is dead, so B roll is minimal on today's episode until I find somewhere to charge it. I'm gonna go check out the Hopewell Rocks. It's a pretty steep price to go see some rocks. So, the cool thing about the Bay of Fundy is that its peculiar shape makes it so the tide is extreme here very, very extreme. Um, I don't know the exact science behind it, but I do know that the water will in some places go up and down up to 12 feet. That's crazy. Anyway, we're getting close to low tide here, so you can check this out. It's just, it's like another planet. water has eroded the base of these rocks from those crazy tides I was talking about that form these it's just amazing check this out This were high tide, I would the top of my head would still be underneath four more or five more feet of water. I'm 6'6, six, six, so you do the math, those are some crazy tides. I feel just a little dwarfed right now. Getting underneath these. It's crazy. Hey, I made it to Moncton and I'm gonna go have some poutine. Oh wait, Simon, you've already had poutine in Quebec. No, no, no. This is Acadian poutine, also known as Laura. Poutine Rappi. Very different. Let's go try it out. On the menu here they have today's poutine, or you can buy yesterday's poutine for 25 cents less. And uh, that's pretty much it. 
That's all you can get. Mm. Brown sugar, okay. Yeah, it's really good with brown sugar. All right, yeah, I'll try it out. It's two different kinds of potato and pork. I had to Google this one because um, although it is part of Canadian culture, it's not been part of my culture before, my particular breed of Canadian culture. Um, basically, it's a giant dumpling, kind of, sort of, with potato. Part of it's been shredded and dried, and the other part's been mashed and dried, and then they mash them together, and inside they fill it with a, like a shredded pork type of filling. Apparently, it's really good with brown sugar. Okay. Like a lot of uh, traditional Canadian foods, I'm finding, uh, I think it's kind of designed to help you survive the winter. It's very dense. Very sweet and good though. What it lacks in looks, it makes up for in taste. It's almost, it's almost like African. It's really good. There's probably a lot of similarities between the cuisine at Ketziandis um, from here in, in Canada and uh, some of the cuisine down in Louisiana. And the reason for that is, um, another black mark on Canadian history, there's a few of them, we don't talk about them much, but uh, we deported, the British deported a massive amount of Acadians from this area, and they went down the coast and some of them settled in Louisiana, where a driving force in Louisiana culture, and it's one of the reasons why Louisiana is so French. There's a few re reasons, but uh, it's definitely one of them. I'm gonna say goodbye to New Brunswick for a hot second. I'm gonna go check out PEI. Across one of the world's longest bridges. Let's do this. I'm in Charlottetown now, across the bridge, it's cool. This island's tiny. Prince Edward Island's kind of like if Idaho and Florida had a baby and it came out with nothing but farmers and potatoes, and they got like, they rolled deep with Anna Green Gables, tiny little island, smallest province in Canada. Also birthplace confederation. Lots of things. Anyway, uh, I decided I'm gonna go stay at a hostel tonight because tomorrow night is Thanksgiving. I figured, it, you know, it's pretty cheap and I get a shower and I get to not look like crap when I show up to Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow. And uh, also, you know, it'd be nice to have like power and charge all my stuff and stay warm. And if I was really penny pitching, there would be a way to get around all this, do the YMCA thing that I do, blah, 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 blah. But just more convenient for me tonight and uh, a real bed would be nice. Okay, off to hostel. I took some of my hostel mates and we're going bowling tonight. Should be fun. I dominate this game. So drinks are done, we've decided we're gonna go for late night food, which if you know me in Ottawa and like other cities I go to, I'm very passionate about that late night cheap grub. <laughs> so uh, China Garden apparently, that's what Charlottetown's known for, Chinese food. I wouldn't have thought that, it's East Coast. It doesn't make any sense to me, but let's go do it. Strut your stuff, Turbo. Oh yeah, mm. 
All right, let's go for the least Chinese food I've ever seen in my Chinese life. Where are you going? going Turbo. To... It's right here. Oh, oh, China guy. Yeah, yes, you can read too. These ladies are from Calgary, so you'll uh, forgive their We're inability. Calgary? Edmonton? Where was it? No, Manitoba. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, it's all adding up now. <laughs> oh, Manitoba. <laughs> Don't record me. What are you doing? I'm struggling. Oh my god. It's white Chinese food on the same level as my hometown. But I just did the Googling. Uh, Charlottetown has like a population of 35,000 people. I mean, it's not, it's not a town. I, I guess it qualifies as a city, but it's pretty small. You need to shovel more than that. No. This was your plate anyway. She's, that's, this is her plate now. You've okay. made a terrible mistake. I'll live with it. It's a verdict that was the exact same menu and quality of food as is in my crappy Chinese food place in my hometown. <laughs> Do not suggest. Charlottetown, this is, that was busy. It was actually really busy. Mm -hmm. So uh, Charlottetown, step up your game. You guys need a culture of late night grub. Work on that. I'll be back in another 15 years.